In this short video, we will attempt to describe the accountant's liability to clients and related defenses. Now, the most common source of lawsuits against CPAs is usually regarding negligent acts. Now, there are different types of negligent acts. Here are some types of um, negligent acts. We have the lack of duty to perform service, which the service means that the CPA firm claims that there was no implied or expressed contract. For example, the CPA firm might claim that misstatements were not uncovered because the firm did a review service, not an audit. The CPA's use of an engagement letter provides a basis to demonstrate a lack of duty to perform. We also have non-negligent performance. The CPA firm claims that the audit was performed in accordance to auditing standards. Even if there were underscored mistake, undiscovered misstatements, the auditor is not responsible if the audit was conducted properly. We also have contributory negligence. A defense of contributory negligence exists when the auditor claims the client's own actions either resulted in the loss that is the basis for damages or interfered with the conduct of the audit in such a way that prevented the auditor from discovering the cause of the loss. We also have the absence of causal connection. To succeed in an action against the auditor, the client must be able to show that there was a close causal connection between the auditor's failure to follow auditing standards and the damages suffered by the client. Assume that an auditor failed to complete an audit on the agreed upon date. The client alleges that this caused a bank not to renew an outstanding loan, which caused damages. A potential auditor defense is that the bank refused to renew the loan for other reasons, such as the weakening of financial condition of the client. 